Hi, and welcome to today's presentation on teaching for 21st century learners. My name is Joe Hanat, and I've been teaching art and drama in the public schools for about six years now. Knowing the specific learning styles of each and every one of your students has long been a consideration of teachers when it comes to reaching their students. And it really doesn't matter whether you're in a K-12 situation or if you're teaching in the corporate world. The thing is, is that you have to reach those students. You have to find out their interests. And sometimes it takes, as we say in the theater, a little smoke and mirrors to get you there. Now, when it comes to doing a demonstration in art, I can have all the tools ready, wait for all the students to finally gather around the demonstration table, and then start to work explaining as I go. While demonstrating in this fashion really does help you get your point across, and it shows your students that the teacher actually does know what they're talking about, it leaves some students with ample opportunity to distract other students and easily interrupt the learning atmosphere that you're trying to create. Secondly, with time being as precious a commodity as it is, you really don't have the time to sit down with your students for like two or three hours and show them the completed picture. So, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce that little zing that will show them in almost no time what it is that you expect from them. By introducing video into your presentations, you can show your students in a matter of minutes something that actually took you hours to create and show them that completed project, which is always a help. But using only video can be boring if it has no soundtrack to back it up, as you can see. By adding voices to the presentation, the students can be engaged both visually and audibly. Going one step further, the addition of title slides and music make the presentation more memorable and plants the subject matter in more areas that can relate to the mood that was set. Now it may take a little more work on your part initially, but this is a tool that you'll be able to use over and over and over again as you created this video with music and voice that helps to draw your students in, to help them to understand what it is exactly that you're trying to teach them. And not only that, as I said, you can use this video over and over again. So the students who happen to be out of class on that particular day can get the exact same instruction as the folks who were there. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation and that you try and use some video in your teaching. Give it a fair shake. It'll work. Believe me, I know.